there's a, an old story that used to get told in civil rights spaces. There, you know, there's these two men there at the lake and they're, they're fishing. And one of them sees a baby come down the river and he jumps in the water and he, and he goes to save the baby. And, and not, not shortly after he's in that water, um, another baby starts coming down and another one. And now both men are in the water trying to pull these babies out the water. And it, it, after about six or seven babies, um, the guy who jumped in second jumps out the water. He's like, I, I can't stay in this water anymore pulling out these babies. And the guy who jumped in first is like, why are you jumping out of the water? You know, we're gonna lose the babies if we don't keep pulling them out. And the second guy says, I need to go up to the top of the hill and, and find out why the babies are in the water in the first place. I think um, so many of our celebrities, they do so much work with summer basketball programs or, or giving back to schools or creating summer camps to deal with the gaps that are created structurally in our society because of the failures of our education system or the, the failures of our economic system. But it's not just enough to get in the water and save the babies. There's no amount of money that we will have as a society if we're just in the water trying to pull out babies. We need to change the structures that put our babies in harm's way in the first place. And one of those structures, one of those problems, is our corporate media and the images that they send into our homes every single day that put some people on top and some people on the bottom. Holding media accountable really does start with the money. At Color Change, we have a, had a lot of success in media accountability, and it's really been about going to corporations who sponsor these things and saying, you can't come for our money by day and, and send images into our home that hurt us by night. So much of the work um, in entertainment industry in the last you know, 20, 30 years has been about getting black faces on television has been about diversity, getting black faces behind the camera, getting black writers jobs. That is important work that we need to continue to do. But it's not just about who's working behind the camera and who has jobs, if those jobs lead to demeaning images that go into our homes. It is about mobilizing the voices of everyday people and making sure that folks um, at media outlets realize that we're not just gonna be passive consumers of whatever they create, but we're gonna be organized and educated consumers and we're gonna push back when the things that you create hurt our communities. I do think that there's incredible media makers out there. A lot of them are, are on YouTube and they're creating stories, they're, they're using pop culture to be funny, to be poignant. And I think that you know, you know, holding up our, our image makers, holding up folks that, that are interested in, in telling stories and giving them bigger platforms is important. Um, and I think that that will be part of the work that we are going to be doing at Color of Change. It's not just about you know, having a stick and going out and, and beating down the folks that, that, that you want to change, but it's about putting out a carrot and, and highlighting a roadmap of what we hope to see, a type of images that are, are good and positive um, and accurate and, and fair.